Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59 p.m. on Tuesday, March 15th in New York City, the Ides of March. I uh, wonder if that will be theme-related, actually, um, which means one minute until the Wednesday crosswords. Taking a look at the leaderboard from yesterday, we still got KFS Ventic glitching up here at the top, even though she didn't do the mini. Then we had stickers tied with Marie Unicorn for True First, then me, Redwick, Herman Chow, PB Geckner, Cape God, Joe Obi. 30 seconds or less. Then we had Pandaguchi, Bill Boris, Kimball, EL, The Glorp, Hoopla, A plus B, and Ball Don't Lie under one minute. Followed closely by Delu, Jay, and Lil Sun. Shout out to all of you. Anyway, it is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Wednesday crosswords. So here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Fit, wing, iced, thus, uh, taze, zilch, zaps, idea. All right. Zilch, nice clue, zero, nothing, nada. Popular first guess word in Wordle. I actually don't like starting with four vowels. I think uh, you're gonna need a second guess anyway almost all the time. You may as well spread your vowel out over two guesses. That's my opinion, which isn't that well-founded. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Thursday, sorry, the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Joseph Gangi today. Maybe Ganji. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. And of course, actually, it's not actually the Ides of March on this puzzle. It's March 16th puzzle. Uh, anyway, let's see what Joseph Gangi or Ganji has in store for us. Let's get into it. Duck, avoid, apartments, uh, is it actually? Oki, this is sly, veal, uh, ice, and decays, maybe? Henceforth, I. This is nth. Never will be Romeo. Keep close to the heart. No harm, no foul. Laceless shoes, loafers. Duck again. Flat B, palm facing. Uh, boy? I don't know. Picturing app Insta. Ronald Rule, Tolkien or, Tolkien or something. Donald Duck. Petrol. Oh, we still on slip ons then? Skirt. Kid? Liner, prepare to proof. Uh, issue here. It's not kid. Uh, his shirk need. Okay, that's better. Handout area map. It's a deal. No. Seems like it might be I. Tampa Bay Pro. No, that's a buck, isn't it? Salmon. Okay. Mike Myers here. It's, this is or take cover. Oh, duck again. Treasure. Swing era. Never. It was never. Total disarray. Street cred. What to call a man at air? Or hair? Cheese puffs. Airy. Total disarray. Chaos there. Dry rot. Interesting. Eight on. Errata. Direct confrontation. Toe to toe, duck again, evade, S stay angry then, this is Alamo, Amigo, something a duck lays an egg, the duck varies in playwright, it's a mammoth or something, Eli Whitney, be mad, dodge here, timid, was mammoth, uh, has in hand, is C. Butterfly here is Monarch. Big Snarl. Uh, is it not Buck? Oh, Ray. Uh, Uraney? It's a date. Okay. Let's enter at all. Transmit. Maybe send. Rat's nest here. Be in a mood and brood. Uh, 
Lord's Legion. If the opponent has a hand. Opening. Twas stew there. Transmit. I guess it is send. Holds. Non stop. Tana, apparently. Bath toy. Sis and Das. A chance of a lifetime, say. Zap here. I think in zoo. Put roof fixture hanger. Duck, duck, goose. So it's not a hanger. Uh, Bugs and Daffy. This was author. You, Euler here. Hat peg. Duo. Use a chance to shine. Uh, solo. Flabbergasts. Oz and in re. Sai, is that what that is? Duck. Droop down or something? Conger is an eel. Holy here. Editor. Stet. Stoop down. Sty. One shot. Hmm. So I didn't even notice that we've got a duck in the middle here. And a lot... A lot of duck... A lot of duck-related film. Felt like even more stuff. Is there a note anywhere? Is today National Duck Day or something? Sure, sure I'll look it up. I, I see. Let me just click on the, the column. It's... This puzzle has forever changed my opinion of grid art. This is truly the best use of black squares to create an image that I have ever encountered. It does look really like a duck. Um compared to some other grid art I've seen. Duck, duck, goose. Yeah, so this is just like an artistic puzzle. But we've got the corners here. Avoid, shirk, dodge, goose. So it's like duck, 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 goose. And we've got take cover and stoop down, also as duck. We have bath toy and Donald. Include mainly with duck. And then we've got a lot of other duck adjacent stuff that isn't like necessarily part of the theme, I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It really does look like a duck. Uh, if you go to xwordinfo.com, you can see lots of grid work, um, grid artwork, I should say. Somewhere here. Maybe just unusual symmetry and asymmetry. Is there anything that's just art? Grid art. Oh yeah, this panda one looks a lot like a panda as well. Here's an SOS. This is tennis themed, but you know it's not as convincingly a tennis racket. It could be a bubble wand. Could be a Q-tip. This is, yeah, it vaguely looks like a light bulb. This is supposed to be a tuning fork or a slingshot or goalpost or perhaps the letter Y, right? Which is usually the, the problem with grid art is that it looks like it could be a lot of things. This does look like a heart though. Yeah, so I've played several of these. Here's a Scottish Terrier, but I, I think the duck looks more like a duck than the Scottish Terrier it looks like a Scottish Terrier. So I, I will, I will say that does look like a duck. Um, I, I like this idea of cluing these things all as as duck. But I don't think I needed all the extra duck stuff, I don't think. Um, I really felt like I was just laying it on at some point. Let's see. Cozy spot. Spot of tea. And a tea cozy. That's clever. Yeah, tea cozy. It's a tea warmer. I feel like, to me, this is very British. Stay stay hydrated, folks. So that's a, that's a cute clue. Urano. It's not it's not the, my favorite film. I guess it's related to the planet Uranus, but. This feels like a uh, 
a word list word that needed to fill a very specific need there. Dry rot. Lake Tana. How big is Lake Tana? It's the largest lake in Ethiopia, as the clue said. 52 miles long, 41 miles wide. Maximum depth of 49 feet. It's a pretty big lake. Certainly not one that I knew. This also feels a bit like a word list thing. Yeah, Psy, that's like the, the dagger looking thing, right? So it seems like the um the east side of this grid. Yeah. It's pretty rough. I think. It is it is um It is a Wednesday. Uh yeah, mammoth. Here's a, another duck adjacent thing, although that I don't mind so much. This isn't really a stretch to um to get another duck in the clues. The duck variations is actually the first thing listed amongst the trio of off Broadway nineteen seventies plays. Um, we have Euler there. Was I, um, hmm, what a flat B, palm facing a nearby fellow. Nice clue on or. A date, we've got that an elegant A there. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there wasn't as much duck stuff as I thought. Hat peg. Hat peg. How legitimate it phrases it. There's 20 to 26 million hits. I don't know, hat peg to me does not seem that legitimate as a, as a phrase. Cease, seize, and does. It's like a Spanish and Russian. Something a duck lays. Bugs and Daffy in the Iceman ducketh. Okay, so toward the end there, it's getting a little gratuitous. I, I, I can see the temptation, you see egg, it's a duck theme puzzle, but I'm not sure that this is so necessary. But it's, it's actually not as much as I thought. There was just more theme stuff than I thought. I didn't realize that these were themers at the very beginning, obviously. Yeah. So as far as using grid work, the grid to make artwork, that is a pretty convincing duck. Um, yeah, that's sort of a, just a light-hearted puzzle. Yeah, interesting. Uh, pretty fun. Four minutes puts it on the higher end of a Wednesday, I think. At least recent Wednesdays. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we have stickers coming in quite strong, nice and early. That's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.